What's up everybody? My name's Chris Lyons. I'm a reseller on Amazon and eBay. I go by the casual flipper and in today's video I'm going to go through my process about how I ship and marry to FBA. I'll go th through the different tools and different little things that I use. I hope you enjoy this. So I made a TikTok the other day, um, just kind of highlighting some of my shipping materials that I use, and I ended up with a lot of messages, people asking me different questions. So I figured the best thing I could really do is just create a quick video, kind of highlighting uh, the tools that I use, and maybe a little description as to why I use them. So we'll just dive right into it here. So, and these are no particular order. I'm just picking stuff up as as I come across. So what you see here. Uh, a lot of people will know what this is. It's a Scotty tool. And what a Scotty tool is, it's simply a tool that allows you to remove labels. Um, I know some people will actually heat the label up first and then use this. Um, if a label is so tricky that you have to heat it up, I typically go with the plastic Scotty tool. Um, and it just allows you to put more force without damaging the, the cover or the book sleeve or anything like that. So, so Scotty tools, Definitely great, great thing to utilize for shipping books off so you can make sure you get all the labels and stuff off them. The last thing you want to do is ship in books that have labels on them. Um, the next thing, and this really threw people off guard, is just whiteout. And what I use it for is on the inside cover or anywhere is really sometimes people write like messages or leave their name and the year and stuff like that. I like to white it out if it's not too much on there just because I feel like if we're on just people would be would probably prefer that I white out their names if I'm going to resell the books. And if you were to buy a book, I feel like I would appreciate it if I didn't have to look at someone else's name. So white out, just a nice little thing. It's what something I always do. Of course, goo gone. This gets rid of all that gunk and stuff. So that's really good to have. And then if you wipe down the book, you're going to need a rag or something. So I make sure I try to clean everything, keep everything nice. Um, the other tool is this tape gun. Like it's just so handy. Just having this, you just take it on the box. So having something like this, really, really worth the money. So I definitely recommend something like that. Um, so I am selling on Amazon, eBay as well. And because I'm on Shopify as well as my own brand, I like to make sure that I get some marketing out there for my brand so I can eventually move towards my own thing more than relying on Amazon and stuff like that. So I have to build awareness. So I, I got these cards designed. Um, I just put one in every single book. It just says thank you for your purchase. You know, because you purchased this book, it helps us feel our causes. If visit our website on thebookrescue.com. Nine in ten people will throw this out, but I'm looking for that one, a one person out of every hundred or so that checks it out and sees what they like, and then they tell their friend about it. So those are kind of the very basic kind of things that I use. Um, Sharpie. I so as I complete a box, I write a number on it. One two, three, four, so each box is numbered one to 10 or whatever, and that will correlate with the FBA shipment. So later on in the shipment, when everything's done, and it says what this box one way, I will already have that recorded. So I put all the books into a box, I put one on the box, I weigh and put the weight. So when everything's all said and done, everything's weighed and has a number, I can just print and put the label on the box. So with that, I have, you're gonna need, a nice scale, something that can really handle some weight, but it's also not too, too big or bulky. So I've got this scale. And then boxes are a real bugger. Um, Uline prices are good, but not better, surprisingly, than U-Haul. This U-Haul small box is the perfect amount. Um, I think it's like 23 kilos max or 22, and when you fill it up, you're about 21. So it's really the perfect size box, and it's like a dollar twenty-ish each, which I haven't found much better pricing than that. So I use U-Haul boxes. It's pretty close. It's easy to get them. Um, it is a business expense, so so that's definitely a good thing. Uh, and then, you know, at the very beginning, I kind of showed um, just my boxes that I have up front here. So what after I fill up a box, I schedule pickup through UPS and they just come pick it up they charge me a dollar ninety so that's really it for my shipping supplies and hope this video brings you some value keep crushing it and stay real